Hi everybody, Mike Kessler, Joe here. I'm going to make some monoliths. Um, one of the things I'm going to put on my island are these monoliths with images on them of microscopic images. So in the distance here, you can see I've got one that I was playing with. It's a little brine shrimp way over there. But basically what I do is I hit the build button and I'm going to build a cube and move my tool out of the way. Cube starts as this little box and I've got three different controls. So the first control with the arrows basically describes the movement of where I'm going to put this cube. If you hold the shift key, on, I'm sorry, the control key on your keyboard, it gives you the option to pivot or to spin. So these three axes, X, Y, Z, actually let you move the cube around. And if you hold down the shift and control key, you can't quite see it. Let me walk over to it because it's so small. What you get are these corners. And you can pull these corners to grow the size of the object. So the white corners holding down the shift and, and uh, control key at the same time, the white corners give you a um, aspect controlled sizing. Um, the blue, green, and red give you the ability to grow on one on one um, Cartesian plane at a time. So I'm going to basically make these cubes and they'll be a little taller than they are square. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my texture and I'm actually going to upload a file. And I was working on a couple of files. I had taken a microscoped image of a leaf and I, um, I cropped it because there's a limit of 2000 by 2000 pixels. Um, so if you try to upload an image, it may give you an error telling you that it's too big. So I cropped it and I saved that and Hopefully I put it in the right spot. I call it underscore small. I click on open. It doesn't give me an error. I can click on that. And I click on apply. And it applies it on all sides. So it's kind of distorted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the control alt key again. To change the size of my cube. To even it out a little bit. And then I can raise and lower it. And move it around wherever I want to put this on my island. Um, and my plan is to populate the island with either cubes or, if I hold my key again, I was thinking about making these planes. So basically a an object that is square and thin, so you don't necessarily see the the um, image on the edge of the monolith. And I think red will see red drags it out. I can flatten this almost flat, and then I, I can get really bigger. You know, make these images really giant, so people can actually zoom into the image as if it was a microscope. So that's my plan. Um, I'm going to take some of these things and I'm going to, I wonder if I can take a co I can, I can take a copy of it and then I'll save it in my inventory. So in my little briefcase, I can drop this on different islands or different parts of the island instead of coming way back over here and grabbing it. Um, so that's my plan. I'll make a bunch of these and try to arrange them in some kind of order where I have leaves and plants in one section, small animals in another section. Um, I'm also playing with the ability to make one of these and if you click it you can actually instead of a texture you can click media and i think there's a way to actually play a um a youtube video or another live video on this um, i'm still experimenting with that but first focus is going to be just still images then i'm going to try some different media um textures on these these cubes or these uh, flat monoliths and uh, see how they work out on the island. Thanks for checking out my video and I'll uh, see you soon.